kind of take a stroll back down to Heel Lane. And as you can see, I have dressed accordingly for today's um, show. I love this jersey. Okay, I know, I, I know we were the hosts in the All-Star Weekend, but I so wish that Team Pacific got to wear these. Because I felt for me, these were better than the back ones. <laughs> I just love this. I love this jersey. Love it. Love it. Love it. Really love it. Absolutely love it. Didn't we get the? Didn't we get it right? It's also so weird because normally throughout my past, right, ever since I've been involved with the NHL back since two thousand and nine, but when I see all star jerseys, I always go. Eh, eh, eh. So it was kind of, and when obviously it was announced that we were going to be hosting the 2019 All-Star League, I was like, oh no, I don't want to have to go, Ugh. because whenever your team's hosting an event, you kind of want to have a piece of the souvenir, because um, in actual fact, I'll go quick get for you, I do have, um, where is, where is it, I actually do have, um, the twenty fifty the, uh, the, the, uh, if I can find it, got so many armor now, um, Give me two seconds. Two seconds. Give me like two. Right, I'm back. I know you can't see it on the um, net, right? I know you won't see it on the podcast, but I do also have the 2015 Stadium Series jersey. So, yeah. So, the point I'm trying to make is whenever your team gets involved in a a bed. You always, you always want to have like a piece of the merchandise. You always want to have like a souvenir for it, even if you don't get to attend the event. You kind of always want to have something just to remind you that your team did get to be in this part of them. So I was like, please don't let these be horrible because I don't want to, have to go. Eh, eh, eh. Don't put shark in that. Bank food. That was not the case. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Quick, put it back. Um, yeah. So, oh, apologies if you did, if for those of you um, listening on the pod on the podcast, because obviously if you are because if you listen to the podcast, you won't you won't have seen that. But um, the link in of the video, the video version is obviously in the episode description, so you can go and watch it. Yeah. So yeah. So you can always want a piece of memento. I just love these. Right. Bear wondering how does this connect to Tearport? Well, so obviously the All Star Weekend coming up. We were gonna we uh, were gonna include it um in our show as a right I can't I can't believe I ever ever did did this. My initial plan was we were going to um do it as like a special edition of the what was back then known as Pacific Watch. So our middle section, we were gonna devote that I look at the Pacific Division Day during the Ulster weekend, and it dawned on me. Hang on. Wait a minute. No. Your team is hosting the event this year. I know it's your first season, and you're still getting used to it, but and how it works out a bit. But you can't just shove it to a, you know, to a, a, a segment on the middle section of the podcast. No! You've got, you've got to do it justice. And so that's where I thought, right, let's do a whole show on it. It's like a, it's like a bonus show. So, all right, so this is new territory now. Go, doing bonus episodes. Um, and it just makes sense. And I literally keep looking back on me. Why did I not just come to that conclusion in the bloody first place? I was like, what was I thinking? I mean, that's basically, if we did the original player, it would have been, would have been a very, very, very long 
Pacific Watch segment, believe you me, we've been very long, we wouldn't been here all night. I think it's just... What was I thinking in the first place? Do a bonus show! So that, of course, is what we did. Um, which, in a way, gave us, you know, an even bigger... Uh, ooh, okay, here we go. Yeah, right, this is, this is, this is big, this is a big one, okay. Bonus episodes. This is something we've never really done before in podcasting. I was like, is, is this going to muck up production code? No, I've got a good, I've got a good, I know we're about, what, four episodes in now, but I've got a good structure here. Can we not muck it up? But no, but no. Thankfully, when it comes to um, uploading podcasts, you can, um, you can, you know, structure it so that it's, so you can the number some of it's an episode number or so it's a buzz one you can you've got an option where it's to say where it's a buzz ball or it's a so that was all fine. That was well, didn't need to worry about that. Um but yeah, so it was really great actually to do that because like, we got because we covered a lot in um and it was really sort of going off the cuff. So there was no sort of episode plan to it, there was no kind of structure to it. Um Basically, all we had to, we really needed to do with that episode was just, you know, cover all the basics. So, cover the skills competition, cover all three All-Star games, and then, obviously, my thoughts on it. Um, and we packed a lot, we packed a lot in on that special. Um, it's, it's a good 40 mins. Uh, we packed a lot in, because um, as well as looking back on it, you know, you also uh, got to hear my thoughts on um, on jerseys, and I even, and I even now, I, now this is another behind the scenes little tidbit for you. Sorry, now I know on the podcast you can't see me and see what I'm wearing, but for the uh, the, spe- the show for this for this special show, I actually was wearing. This jersey when I did the recording. Um, but yeah, in fact, go this little something. This literally came like the week before the All Star Weekend. So, because they do like, because for the All Star Weekend, they with jerseys, they don't like to release them, do they, for, for sale until like a good what fortnight beforehand. You'll get to see what they look like a good few weeks beforehand. Yeah, been, but actually buying them, no, you gotta wait like ten or twelve days beforehand, like. Come on, Alex. Uh, you know you bought the moolah. Um, but yeah, so I was very lucky that this actually did arrive like the week before uh, the All Star weekend. So hallelujah that. Um, but it was great because that meant I could wa- could watch all the games in it, and also when finally saw sense, record the birds episode in it. So that's what's so yes, yeah, so that's, so that's a little behind the scenes tip for you there. All right. When we, when we recorded this first episode, I did record it in the jersey because it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so it's our stadium series jersey. I thought that was quite gorgeous um, too as well. We need to be like, putting more outdoor events. Come on, pose with the Winter Classic. That's next. Or oh, let's give us another stadium series game. Come on, get the Sharks back outdoors. Come on, you can do it, California. You know it, you can. Anaheim's done it. We've done it. Come on. Um, I bet they done it as a home team. No, I don't think they've done it as a home team. Just as a road team. But, uh, Yeah. So, call the force on the jerseys. Call the force on the game as a whole. Um, even, look, even got the force on, obviously, the mascots stuff. Honestly, the, the, ever since the 2015 All-Star Weekend, the mascots have literally just, like, stole... The show with their other band, they literally ha- um, have, and you can on YouTube, and I'm, I think I might actually include a link to that this in the um, in the description as well. You can actually watch the whole of the mascots game from that year on YouTube. I watch it loads of times just to relive our beloved Sharky getting his hat trick, and the at the end when literally a whole of Team West just literally just. Oh God, the team! <laughs> Lovely. All these mascots that Norwood would hate us. No, Banjo! Oh, 
It's a lovely moment. It's what you can get at All-Star Weekend. Rest of the year, it's all fight, 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 fight. All-Star Weekend. Thumbs out! Oh, so I'll find out and put it in the description so you can go and watch that back. But, ah, uh, But, yeah. Didn't Saki do well? He won MDM. Hey. I mean, I know, I know, I know it's not, it's, it's kind of a measly award because the home team mascot always keeps winning it, but hey. Uh, makes him feel even more special than he already is, but that was great. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So, like I mentioned to you, literally, it recorded during this first episode, it was kind of a off the cuff thing. There was no, there was no episode plan. There was, right, so there was no, there was no structure. It was literally. Get the mic out, press record, and just go. Just say your thoughts. Just do just whatever, whatever's in your head. Just lay it all out. Um. So yeah. So uh, so it's a kind of real off the cuff moment here because so far on the Terror Report podcast we've literally just been you know following structure. So here's yeah, the episode plan. We're gonna follow it to the letter and have a really great, great, great see the show. So. For this book, for this birth episode, and especially if I've never done a birth episode before on our podcast, this literally was kind of like thrown into the lion's den. Because ah, literally anything could have gone on this, and it could have, um, it could be other place. But actually, you know, once we just got got start, started in it, um, it just because it just but that's the beauty, beauty of, um. In fact, I'll show you a little pop performer secret. Once you get on the, once you start rolling, so whether it's on the stage, whether it's in front of the camera, like I can right now, or it's by the podcast. Once you basically just yell "Action," you you you, you just do it. You just it just works seriously. All that stuff you see beforehand, like the nerves and everything, they just go once we once we you just get go on the way. It's like. Action! Or three, go. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah. So that's so for, for one before. So this is from me as before a performer. Once you get started and actually do it, it, it you, you just you do it. You, you, it, it, it just works. You, you just work seriously. It's like ah, it's all coming back to you. But beforehand, you do feel like a bit of like a barrel nerves. It's like what if? Because the what if it could go wrong is very could happen, but you know, yes, yeah, so there's a little secret in the, in, the, in the trade of performing there, guys. Um, once you start, it's all fine. It works all fine. Um, but of course, this this, this was very very scary because obviously you don't want to hear me keep stuttering or, or stopping and starting or re- having radio silence. That's the last thing you need. That's what the golden rules. You don't want to have radio silence. Um, silence is your enemy. Um, but it all sort of worked fine, really. Once, once the game, we got going with it, it just worked really. And Yeah, so we got, so yeah, so we got the thoughts on basically just like the whole weekend as a whole, really. And, um, yeah, so we got our thoughts on the skills competition and how that went down. We then did. We then did like each game as if it was like a look, like if it was like part of the look back. So, gem, yeah. So generally, right. This is what happened in the in the, fir- in the first semi. Here's how the second semi. Then the fire went down. Um, but we basically did, did it like if it was just part of the look back and just did did my thoughts on the game, how it was going on, and the overall re- re- result. Um, yeah. It was just yeah. It was just so. It was just a really, really fun thing to do, and why? Right, the only thing that's gonna really, really um, stick with me is why did I not think this through from the very beginning? Because generally, I kid you not, I had it put down the episode plan for what was gonna be episode four, um, which would be when we would look back on the month of January. Um, and I think I do mention this when uh, going into the, the uh, Pacific Watch for that month. Before we did the, what we actually did was Pacific Watch that month. I did have to look quickly and say, oh, well, I wish it was going to be this and this and that. Um, but no, it really was on down on the episode plan. We're going to look, we're going to look. For that Pacific Watch, we're going to do a special edition. We're going to look back on what happened at the All-Star Weekend just for Team Pacific. And it dawned on me 
No, hang on. No, 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 hang on. Your team's hosting it. Your your team's hosting it this year. I know it's the, I know it's the very first season of your podcast. You've only done, done about what up to this point three episodes, but come on, you can't just do it as one time, one little segment for your middle section of your show. You've got to do it properly. You've got to do it justice, haven't you? You've got to do it properly. You've been doing a YouTube version of it. We did not, because we don't. We'll have more pressure added on us there. But it was like. Come on, you got to do it. You got, we got to do it properly. We got to do this. So, thank the Lord that for that a quick snap of judgment. Thank the Lord that I had a quick snap of judgment and thought, no, hang on, that's not gonna work. Um, it's got. We've got to do it properly. It's got to have its own show. So that so of course we did. Give it its own show, and I'm so thankful we did because obviously I would have been regressing it ever since. Um, if we didn't do it properly, if we didn't do it justice, it would it would have just been like a major regret of the show. It would have it just would have bugged me to this day. Um, but yeah, so it was real. It was real fun to do. It really, really was. Um, so it, it was just so lovely to actually talk about you know special events that was going on. Um, for us, for not just for our organisation, but also for our city as well, because everybody across the whole league, the whole world comes around, came around. Just absolutely amazing. And um, it was great, because it gave me the confidence boost now for any other special events that happens, but for our Sharks going forward, whether that would be, you know, another All-Star weekend, because never know, could be. Maybe, give it, give it a few years. Um, if it's another All Star weekend, or if we get given another outdoor go again, home or road team, don't mind. Just put us back in it. Or, yeah, or if we do any other things like you know, be part of the global series, which of course uh, we were this year, and of course we did do a specialist on that. It just get, doing this, it gave me the confidence to go right. Well, whenever the sharks are involved in a special event, make even the draft. We can even do even if we get the draft, we can even do that. You know, but whenever the show is like put in a special event, do an episode on it. Do a special on it. Do a bonus show on it. Do a bonus for it. Give it the justice it deserves and just talk about it. And just say whatever you say whatever comes to your head and just roll with it. And it works. So we've done so we've done two special shark shows now, uh, covering sharks events. So obviously in season one, when obviously we hosted the All Star Weekend twenty nineteen and then this season, in season five, um, we did this very special episode covering um, the Sharks being involved in the Global Series with the National Predators. Um, and of course, you can listen back to that as well. But yeah, so this sort of first buzz episode, it kind of gave you the confidence to go, right, well, whenever the Sharks are involved in a special event, cover it. Cover it. It's this, it's this the show. You know, it's an extra show. So, because it was a seasonal show, so we're so we are sort of restricted how many episodes we can do each year. So, extra show for the podcast. Why not? Hey, you know, so we were we, we always were literally were giving more, more, more. So there you go, an extra show. Brilliant, go for it. Um, so yeah. So, so obviously now, whenever we the sharks are our sharks. So yeah. So whenever our sharks are now involved in the, in any events, whether it's global series. All Star Weekends, Outdoor Games, all the drafts. Um, we can do these. We can we can now do these car kind of shows. We can do these like bonus shows. We can do these, like, these special shows, and just cover them all and just go with it. Because it's really, because it, it really actually is easy to do. Because all you gotta do is just get the mic in, hit record, and just say what's on your mind, and it just it just you know absolutely works. Really, um, yeah. So. And of course, for the special show, get a special cover as well. Yeah. So the teleport logo comes off. Um, you'll notice it if you, if you have seen it or if you've seen the one for we did on the level series. So the teleport logo comes off all together, literally, because it gets, because especially with our color logo now, it gets in the way. So the teleport logo comes off and what you get is a nice image to reflect the event and the event's logo. And that just is all you need to sell it. So yeah, so yeah. So yeah. So yeah, we did, 
we make, we do make the most of the special occasion. We even give, we, we even give them like a special episode cover. Um. So yeah. So that's so yeah. So yeah. So we really do like to make the, make the most of it. Whatever these special occasions, you know, they are rare. Whatever they do roll around, we do like to give them the, the special sh the, the treatment here. Special treatment. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. But it was just such an amazing thing to do. Uh, especially for our first season, because we were only three episodes in. You know, we covered the first half of the twenty of the eighteen nineties. We did the twenty eighteen portion of the eighteen nineties season. We were going to twenty nineteen ready to do the next second half, the twenty nineteen portion of it. So we were, we were only about three episodes in. Um, it was going quite nicely. We were going, we were going to go over and we started to get in the hang of it. And then I thought, right, well, we've got to. It cannot be. It could not be just a simple, here's a special edition of the West or the Pacific Watch on it, and just that half of a bit. No, we had to do it justice, and I'm so, 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 so glad we did do it justice, because let, let me tell you, if we did not do it justice, if we did not do a burst episode on it, I would be regretting that. That would be one of the big, big regrets about this show, um, if I had any of the show. But that would have been like the one big regret of Terra Point. We've been oh why did why did I why did they not why did they not do like a special episode? It really would have. Um, yeah, but I made the most of it. I I dressed for the occasion, even though you couldn't see me, even though you couldn't see because it's a podcast. But I did just to give you a little bit of a highlight. I did literally dress up for the um, for the occasion. It was just so wonderful and. What the, the best thing about it is it now gave the confidence and the springboard needed. So whenever, so whenever we do get given an event, like what we got this year, the Girl Series, when we do get given an event, we can then do a special episode on it. We can do like a bonus show. We can cover it as a whole and do it justice. And that's what made it brilliant. So yeah. But thank the Lord for that change of that change of heart. Otherwise, this would have been a regret rather than a happy memory. <laughs>